Hello everyone, I am checking out a new game that I got a free key for. It is called Psychiatrist Simulator. The developer and publisher is Afra Barra, if I said that right. And you can get it in the Steam store for 99 cents. Now, this is the main screen. You got the credits. Go back. And now there is no way to turn down the, the music or change any settings. Because when you start up the game, it, it allows you to select the resolution and Windows mode and I believe that's it. Now to start a new game, just click new game. But you got to come up here and click this. I got the free key from Key Mailers and Athra Barra. I believe I'm <laughs> I believe I'm saying that right. Now this is what the game looked like inside. Now to turn off the music, you go over here and you click this. And that's the only way I know how you turn off the music. The lights work. Uh, let's see, all of them. This is what it looks like. I don't think you can open windows. Uh, even this one up here works. Now, I don't... Yeah, you can't click anything else. You can click this, which will uh, explain about mental illness and, and stuff like that. I, apparently that's all you get is just these two. Because I can't see nothing else. This here is the people you will be treating. And this is available treatment. Now the problem so far is you hear them knocking. And even if you don't answer the game, they will just show right up. Now I can see some potential for this game though. I mean, or simulator. Now let's see. Alright, let's meet the first person. Oh, this. There we go. Okay. Here's our first person. I'm Lucas Ikrivari. My mind's a very dark place, and I need some help to fix the bright side. All right. Here you get to choose how you want to respond. Now let's see. Could you describe the dark place? How can I help you? How can I bring you to the bright side? Hmm. Well, let's click. Could on you this. describe the dark place? I have nightmares every night. And when I wake up, the world looks like my nightmares. Huh. All right. Could you describe those nightmares? Do you scream while being asleep? Describe your world. I don't see him. Describe your world. My world's a horror movie. This one scene from my nightmare, I was near this building and it had a megaphone on it and it said, become a zebra or die. And of course there's these zebras around and when I became one, the guy killed me with a chainsaw. <laughs> Alright, do you have dreams like this every night? Are these dreams connected to reality? Hmm. Well, I mean, let's go with every night. Do you have dreams like this every night? Yeah, I've had thousands of them. I write them in my notebook. Hmm. Let's see. Tell me more about your past. Have you been abused in your life? Only crazy people have dreams like this. <laughs> That's the last thing you want to say to somebody who has issues. <laughs> Only crazy people have dreams like this. Uh, let's see. Um, Tell me more about your past. I'm a quiet guy. I keep to myself. 
but so I was bullied pretty heavily at school and my home life's not great. Alright, tell me about your home life. Were you abused by your parents? All right, let's Tell just... me about your home life. Well, my parents hate each other, and my mom screams at my father every day. Hmm, sounds familiar. Uh, have you any friends? I bet nobody likes you. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, that's another thing you don't want to say. <laughs> have you any friends? I have one good friend, but I only hang out with him once a month. Do you feel anxious? Are you scared of something? Do you feel like other people are against you? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you feel anxious? Yeah, every day. I feel like everyone's against me. And they want to humiliate me. Alright, do you feel lonely? Do you spend time with others? Um, well, he just said that he doesn't hang out with people, so obviously he probably don't spend time with others. Do you feel lonely? No, I'm a solitary person. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really get enjoyment from interacting with other people. Alright, do you feel sad? Are you depressed? Do you feel like a pathetic? Oh my god. Um, hmm. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Do you feel sad? Sadness is all that I feel. Okay. okay now, that's all for today. I will make an appointment for you. Alright. Thanks for your time. Now, after this... I'll, once you get that squared away, you come in here. Oops. Obviously, I can't. I think that was him right there. You come here. You can select the diagnosis you think that he would have. I don't know. Um, he has anxiety, obviously. So you click it. Then you click treatment, and you can decide. Um. Yeah, let's give him, he looks like he needs some value, 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 <laughs> yeah, okay, uh, now you can also, you can also put, put people into the mental hospital by clicking on your phone, I want to put a patient in mental hospital, so you want to, and then you can select the person, like, uh, I don't know, um, let's just say, it doesn't do anything yet, apparently. And you can also make a new appointment for him. I want to make an appointment with psychologist. So, you want to make an appointment with a psychologist who went for the patients. Hello, Brahimovic. Alright, see, that's, that's all you can do so far in the game. Now, I won't answer the door and you'll see that they'll just show right up. And there's no way to exit the game until you finish going through like three or four of them. And there's no way to get out of the game either. <laughs> Can't exit it. I'm taking that they'll fix all this. Hey, let's turn this music off. I don't know why it has to start every time. Uh, Alright, here, here they come. See? <laughs> Doesn't matter if you answer or not, it, they just show up. And it takes a little bit for it to load. My name is Anna Abrahim. Ooh, that wasn't good. My friend told me that you can read human mind. I am curious if you can do that with mine. Oh, uh, let's see. What's on your mind? What exact? Okay. What exactly made you come here? Sometimes I feel very tense. I don't know what to do with myself. I have to drink vodka to tell myself. 
Sometimes I cut my arms too. She's a self cutter. Uh, why do you? Why do you cut yourself? Sometimes the pain is too much, and I need to do it to relieve it. Okay, this is the last thing you want to tell uh, tell somebody. Just calm down. Is uh, this state dysphoric where you are depressed, have anxiety and agitation and feel unease? Yes, exactly. I feel very sad and the only way to calm down is to drink or hurt myself. Alright, do you feel lonely too? Do you feel unreal? Unless, do you feel unreal? When I become dysphoric, I feel like I am dreaming. That sounds like um, dissociation. Uh, tell me about your past, any treatment. Tell me about your past. Any traumas? Oh, trauma, sorry. I was bullied in school a little because of my anger issues, but nothing serious. Okay. Hmm. Do you drink alone? Do you meet other alcoholics like you? <laughs> nah. I think you. Do you drink alone? Yes. In my room. Because I don't like socializing that much. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Are you in conflict with anybody? Have you threatened anybody? Do you feel paranoid that somebody is. Hmm. Have you threatened somebody? No. Normally, I am a peaceful person. Uh, have you any other addictions? Do you think... Do you think about humiliation? Yes. I like being humiliated in bed, tied and beaten. Uh, let's see, do you... Do your state of mind change like being manic and then depressed? Hmm, that sounds like bipolar. Um, do you feel stable? Uh, it isn't right yeah. Do you feel stable? No, I feel like being on a roller coaster. Yeah, sounds bipolar. Okay. Okay, that's all for today. I will make an appointment for tomorrow. Sure. I have free time tomorrow afternoon. Sounds like dissociation and bipolar. Um, let's see, diagnosis. I don't know if they got it. Uh, borderline. Hmm. They got depression. Probably a little anxiety. Uh, don't see antisocial. I don't see uh, dissociation. I wonder, can you flick through? No, you can't have to flick through. Uh, I'm paranoid. Um, no, they, I think the last guy was paranoid. Uh, hmm. No. They don't have. Oh. No, they don't have alcoholism here. Um, wait a minute, I'm busy. Yeah, alright. Alright, alright, I'm alright. Come on, dude. I am Ivan Arash. I was sent here because I fought with my mother about the cameras which she planted in my room. Hmm. Okay. Uh, did you find them? What camera? Uh, Alright, let's... Did you find them? She mounted them near my desk, but I can't see them because they are made of abracoin substance. What is abracoin? Abracoin is a substance made by government to spy on me. Yep, a little paranoia. Uh, let's see. 
do you think about how do you talk about this with your parents this <laughs> it is bullshit um no did you talk about this with your parents they are with government they are my enemies hmm wicked paranoia uh let's see do you hear voices uh what makes you think that the government or that government is against you uh, all right let's do you hear voices government puts a chip in my mind so i hear them talking Ooh, it about sounds like schizophrenia uh, did you tell that to your friends? Friends think that you're a freak. Oh, wow. Did you tell that to your friends? I don't have friends. They all are with government. Uh, let's see. Do you do you think about killing yourself? You should kill yourself. Oh, wow. Do you think about killing yourself? No. I want them dead. Okay. Uh, have you fought with anybody? Do you did <laughs> do your parents help you? Do you work? Uh, yeah, do you work? No, because they are government agents out there. <laughs> Sounds like schizophrenia. Um, have you been in a mental hospital? Have you been in mental hospital? No, I am sane. Uh, do you feel depressed? Do you feel anxious? It is all your imagination. Hmm. Do you feel depressed? Sometimes. Alright. Okay, that's all for today. I will make an appointment for you. Sure. Thank you for your time. Okay, this sounds like schizophrenia to me. Oh. That's where the bright lights come on. Uh, uh, let's see, diagnosis. Um, schizophrenia. Wait a minute, what's schiz... Um, schizo... Pal? What the heck is that? Alright, uh, hmm. A little paranoia. Alright, I know. I, I know I just saw paranoia in here. Turn on all these lights. Uh, paranoia. Didn't I just see paranoia in here? Uh, compulsion, borderline, schizoid, paranoia. Could be a little anxious, I suppose. All right, all right. Oh, you again. Oh, okay. This is uh, we already did the first part, so this is just showing other characters in the game. And there's no way to get out of this. Even if you press escape, it, it, it has to run through all this first. Maybe actually, after all this goes through, I'll show you. If it finish, come on. All right, all right. This, that was the first day. I believe this is the second. Then it goes on and on and on and on. I believe when you get to the end, I'm not sure, but. I'm taking a guess here that when you get to the end, you could probably put somebody in the hospital if needed. Um, that's what I'm I'm guessing. I haven't played all the way through, so. But that's it. 
uh, it just keeps going and going and going and same people, same uh, similar questions. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I will end this video here. And uh, I kind of I do like the simulator because I, I can relate to it. Because <laughs> of course, you know, I have issues. I think a lot of people out there do have issues, even if they think they don't have issues. I'm talking to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Um, before you go past judgment on somebody who has mental illness, realize there could be somebody within your family or a close friend that could have mental illness and you will have no idea. Because they probably won't, you know, announce it to the world. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. It went a little longer than I wanted because I played all the way through the first half. So, you can get it in the Steam store for 99 cents. And that's all there is. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.